Tanvir, uh, can I... I, I want to ask you in a moment if you are a Republican and how you feel about that, but how do you feel about Prince Charles becoming far more political uh, than, his, than his mother ever was? It's a tough one, isn't it, in the monarchy? I mean, look, I guess with the climate change debate, I, I still feel like it... I'm not sure it entirely helps because it does give it that sense of uh, the sort of... Again, that, so you call it the elite, if you like. A lot of people are the billionaires or the... Uh, you know, the most... The people with most rarefied sort of atmospheres taking these positions. I mean, look, I think Duke of Edinburgh, you know, he had a big involvement in the environment, etc. So they see it as a natural extension of that. So, look, I don't mind them having causes, but I think where the causes is so... At the centre of politics, I do think that that takes away from the independence of the monarchy. And I think it puts him in, in a tougher position, as you, as, you, as you said, compared to the Queen. And, look, I mean, uh, Justin, look, I am, I am very much a, a Republican, so I'm a strong supporter of that. It's interesting, countries like Barbados and... I mean, if you look at uh, the British Empire, I think the countries, I guess, that were more strongly, say, the developing world, you know, say, like, say, India or parts of Africa or, you know, where they had this real deep history of sort of slavery and they are essentially these slave colonies and there's a much deeper sense of sort of resentment, humiliation, there's demands for reparation... So perhaps the feeling is much stronger to, in terms of lift the shackles where, I mean, we, to some extent, we, we are more thoroughly a British out, outpost. And I think that adds a little a bit of a passivity, if you like, for us. But I do think there are deeper arguments for it. I think one of the big crises of a lot of Western societies now is collective identity. And I think even from a conservative side, you can really argue the Republic could be a very good thing to spur a real sense of patriotism and collective identity. I'd really help us distill, you know, values. And I think that that's a, a really problem now. I don't think we have too, too many collective values that bind us together. <coughs> so I do... I actually think there is a, still a case for a, a republic, and it is something you've got to take on. You, you can't... I think you can always kick the can down the road and say, hey, yeah, there's it, always more important things, but I actually think it is uh, potentially a very important thing in, in today's climate. Yeah. And while it doesn't yeah. have to happen tomorrow... I'm, My... I'm a firm believer. And just make it one question. Do you want Australian head of the state? And then you work out a model. And, I mean, you're arguing for, you know, significant constitutional overhaul. I'm not sure we'll uh, easily be able to do that. But the reality is our current constitution is a colonial document, you know, like it or not. So I think we're mature enough to take on the challenge of making appropriate but uh, cautious changes that will allow us to have our own head of state.